Hi everybody, um, video today about how to prevent takedowns. I've had lots of questions about this. Now there are loads of ways people can take you down, but we're going to concentrate on when somebody shoots. And you used to see this a lot, stand-up strikers, um, they often have got a higher stance. So if I'm here with Robin, I'm in this position, so I might be, I might be like this, or we see a lot of the Wing Chun guys with their hands here, and a, a grappler or a wrestler will go low and they'll shoot, and whoop, before we can do anything, they've got into a double leg takedown, and I'm upright. Now the problem is, a lot will say, look, I can punch the person as they come in, I might be able to lift my knee up, I might be able to elbow, and yes, you can do those things, but you've got to think, what is the chance of it working? And the reality is, if I'm here, and, and if Robin's far enough away when he starts to shoot, and I try to punch down at him, I'm going to struggle, and elbows, where, where's my elbow going to go? I will be flying through the air before anything happens. So you've got to be sensible. So I'm going to show you a really good drill um, that we use, and a really good drill that works in wrestling, um, which is a mirroring drill. Now, if you imagine, um, we're in this position here. Uh, if I'm here, I can use controls to keep him from going down and, and doing that. But if I'm here and he starts to move down, I mirror his position instantly. Can you see how I'm looking into his eyes here? I want to try and look up at him. My head's now in the way, my arms are in the way, so anything that comes forward is kind of difficult to deal with. Not impossible. He can go lower, he can shoot, but I'm not doing this as a wrestler. I'm doing this as a deterrent. So we work this drill as a deterrent. Um, the first thing we'll do is we won't use our arms. Is we'll be here and we'll put our heads almost together. And I'm going to be looking up towards him like this. And I'm going to circle to try and look at this angle. So if we move, I'm going to try and look at this angle. So all the time I'm moving away because what I don't want to happen is I don't want him to be in a straight on position with a powerful shoot. I want to be at a slight angle. The reality is I'm an old man, and sometimes he can get lower than me. So what I will do is, if he's a little bit lower than me, I'm still going to be low. So I will use my hands to replace my head, but I've still got to be low. I tend to use my back hand near his head. The idea is it's going to be just like this. If I put it on his head and press too much, he can take that off, and he can actually affect the takedown by my pressure. So I'm going to literally be here, and this hand's going to patrol this shoulder area. And we're going to drill again. Around again, same principle, again, but I'm going to put my hands here. Can't get down as low, like so. Now these two drills are brilliant. They get you to use the right level and the right motions in doing this. If you put the other arm forward, the other leg forward, same thing, my back hand still patrols this. I don't want this hand to be on top to take it away so you can get to my legs. Same principles. However, I have to say, as a striker, this is a temporary mirroring position just to prevent these things happening. So the moment he drops down, the moment he drops down, I'm going to drop down, and I'm going to either move away or circle out. Or of course, what I can do, instead of punching down at him, the moment we drop down, here, I can punch from this angle. And it's more likely to stand up the wrestler by punching this angle and allow me time to move away. Try those drills, they're really good, they really work. Sorry about the interruption halfway through that video. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with my normal videos and my normal things next week. Please subscribe to the channel and have a great night.